Hi everyone, welcome to the uh, our channel. So from today onwards, I'm going to start the new series on the performer automation BDD tool. Okay. So I'm going to uh, read out of, uh, all the documentations that is available in the official website. Okay. So this is official, I mean, website of the performer. So where you can go and you can look at this uh, documentation that is given on this particular report. Okay. So you will find all the documentations, I mean, how to create a framework or Maven or Gradle, any framework or how what is Cucumber, everything. Okay, so I'm going to read out all the documentation that is given in the official document. So okay. let's start with, uh, in this session, I'm going to explain about the basics of Cucumber, what is Cucumber and what is BDD and what is joking and what is how to create a Maven framework. Okay, so these are the basic things that I'm going to cover on this part of this video. We'll see one by one. Okay. So the very first one, uh, when you go to this official website, you can see what is Cucumber, right? So Cucumber is a tool that supports the BDD development process or automation process, okay? So Cucumber is not a framework. It is a just a tool that you can support creating your framework in, in Selenium, Java, or any, any other framework. So Cucumber is available on Java, Ruby, and it is available on the JavaScript also, okay? So what is Cucumber? Uh, again, the Cucumber is just a tool. You can see Cucumber is a tool that supports the BDD part, I mean, BDD process. Okay, so inside this Cucumber, I mean, uh, how we write the codes and all, like we will be writing as a token language. I mean, it, it looks like a plain English. So that is what you see here. We write some scenarios. We'll see about what a scenario this given, then keyword and all. So Jerkin Jerkin is nothing. It's a, like a, I mean, a set of grammar rules. Okay, that explain the structure through the Cucumber to understand the scenarios. Okay, and Jerkin serves multiple purpose. You can see here all the purpose uh, by using automation, documentations, everything. Okay, so that particular Jerkin language, I mean Jerkin step that you write on the feature file that can be converted as a step definitions. Okay, so from step definitions, we will be writing our implementations or our, or whatever the automation we are called, we are going to implement, right? So that we will be implementing into the in the step definition okay so now let's go to see and what is dd okay so we all know what is dd dd is nothing like a test driven development so where we will write some test cases and we'll go for a development to to make sure until the test get passed we'll do the development so here the dd is again it's a, one of the development process uh, that is uh, cucumber was built to support it okay so bdd is one of the development process and the cucumber is on top of this it is supporting the process that's it Okay, why BDD, what is BDD and all? Like, uh, I mean, it is more like a simple word in the collaboration. Okay, we have a team, you work as a team always, we will we'll talk to the stakeholders, or business analysts, or developers, everything, right? So this is more like a collaboration across the team to understand the requirement in the better team. Okay, so to understand the application in the behavior-driven development. So how my application is work, this is how it is going to work uh, by using some real-time examples. We will go and discuss about the BDD format. Okay, so next one is Jokin, right? So this Jokin or Jokin, people call, I mean, Jokin also. So Jokin is nothing, it's a set of like a special keywords to give the structure meaningful executable specifications to your feature file, okay? And this is how we will write the feature file. Feature file is nothing. So from feature file only, we are going to write about all the implementations in the flying English, which can be converted later into the step definition. In the step definition, we will be writing our actual implementations. Okay. So these are the feature file. You can see this is a, like a, just a word, it's a feature name, and this is a scenario name. So one feature file can have multiple scenarios. Okay. And inside this, you can see scenarios, feature, when, then, given, everything as a keywords. Okay. So here you can see there are some primary keywords are available in the Turkey. So one is a feature. And next one is rule, which is available from the Gherkin 6, version 6, okay? And we have example, and we have some uh, scenario, given, when, then, and, but, background, scenario, offline, scenario, template, examples, and the scenarios, okay? So if you see what is feature file, okay, why do we write a feature file? The purpose of the feature is keyword to provide a high-level description of the software feature. Okay, so we are going to simply write uh, some features, I mean, um, some steps like this, which is uh, easily can be understood by any human, which is, and, and it is grouped to the structure, I mean, related to the scenarios. So the first primary keyword in the jerkin must be always start with the feature. Okay, so we are going to write some feature file. The feature file always should start with the feature under the colon, followed by the colon. Okay, 
and followed by you can give some feature name. So this is a feature name. Okay. Then we can write some cases. I mean, uh, we can write some conditions like we can write some description and the rules also available. Okay. So after followed by after writing the feature uh, and the rule, and you can directly go to the your steps, which is which is coming from the given then. Okay, so examples also we'll have. I mean, we will come to this one. When you have multiple scenarios, like a three, four, five steps, for example, you can do that. So when it is come to the steps, so steps is nothing. It has a given, when, then, and, but keywords. Okay, so given is nothing uh, when you are going to do the actions. Uh, and then is nothing. What is your, um, I mean, given is uh, your precondition. Like, for example, I'm going to launch the application. So that is my precondition. And then is nothing, our action. Okay. So here you can see the steps used. I mean, uh, initialize the context of the system, which is kind of like a predefined, I mean, preconditions kind of stuff. Okay. So after that, uh, when it will come, when it is used to describe the event or action. So for example, given I launch the Google, when I type something, right? So that is why we are doing the action. Okay. So after that, then will come. So then is nothing to describe our expected outcome or results. Okay. So given is a precondition, and then I mean. Uh, when is the action and then is the expected outcome okay so these are the three keywords and we can use this and but also when you come for the uh, combined or condition based things okay so here you can see but is uh, for the negative uh, sign for example when i when i provide the invalid username i should not see something else i should not see the login as success right so in that conditions i mean the negative uh, conditions you can use the but keyword okay so this is a simple example you can see scenario is all done so given and and when done and we can write some expression also and we can write some background also background is nothing when you have the some uh, repeated uh, or preconditioned things then we can have it as a background so for example if you want to open google uh, always open the google the google launches always come in the background which is from the top of your scenarios okay some repeated things then you can have it as a background kind of like a precondition across for all the scenarios okay so these are the keywords uh, that we will be mostly using in the our feature file. Okay. So now we have seen what is Cucumber and what is BDD and what are the keywords that is being uh, used in the Gherkin language. Okay. And we have scenario outlines also. Scenario outlines is nothing when you can have multiple times if you want to run the same use case. So for example, you have login uh, and the scenario for the login scenario, you have almost you have like a 10 username password you want to confirm that. All the 10 username password is working fine. Then we can go for the scenario outline. Okay, in the normal case, we will use scenario. When you want to use scenario examples, I mean the examples with the different uh, data tables. So this is called data table also in the Cucumber. So you have to use the scenario outline here. And you have to follow by this variables. You can have it in the tag and you can provide those, those tag values here. And you have to, you can you can give multiple iteration also. So now what happens you now, this scenarios will run how many examples you have given this here? So that many time it will run. So for example, here we have two iterations. So the two iterations, the scenario is going to run. So two times it will run. Okay, for example, if you take it as a login scenario, if you have two username password sets, then it is going to launch the browser. It is going to enter the first time, first iteration. Second time, it is going to enter the second iteration. Okay. Mm, then, yeah. So these are the basic things. Uh, then we can go into the uh, creating the framework. Okay, so after creating a framework, then we can implement the code. Okay, so now, um, okay, so now we are going to create the Maven project. Okay, so let me create the Maven project. Okay. We are going to use the Eclipse as IDE to create the framework. So this is Eclipse. So I'm just going to create the new framework. So I'm going to create the Maven framework. So here, I'm going to create the Maven framework here. So you can you can create the Gradle and you can create the JUnit also. So let me create the Maven. So here, uh, just click on the new project and here you can see Maven project. So you can just click on the next. You can create this uh, create simple project by skipping the Maven architect. But uh, if you want to create some architect level, I mean archetype level. With, along with the Maven. So what we can do now, you can just simply click on next. And here you have to type this Apache dot Maven keyword. So as soon as you type this, so here it will come the artifact. So from there also you can select the artifact. Okay. 
So here I'm going to select this uh, quick start article. So Maven archetype quick start. Okay, this is the one you have to select here. Okay, so this is what you have to enter here, Apache Maven. As soon as you filter it on, so you will get this one. So you have to click on this. Okay, I'm going to click on next button. So it is asking the group ID, which is a project name. For example, I'm giving this Kutumber uh, BD. Okay. I'm giving the same as the artifact ID also, and I'm clicking on the finish button. Okay, now it has started creating a project. You can see in the bottom of the right side corner, creating Maven archetype quick start project. Okay, so first time it is going to download all the Maven uh, dependencies from the central. So once this is done, you can see the left side of the project will be created. Yeah, it is asking. So I'm just going to click on the enter point here. That's it. So now you can see the left side, the project is created and it will have the this Maven architect that you have selected. Okay, so it always have the SRC main folder as, a, as well as SRC test folder. And now you have to go to the form.xml to add the Kukumba dependencies, right? So here you can see if you want to use the Maven, I mean, uh, Maven project, then this is a Kukumba dependency. So I'm just copying this dependency and you can copy it from the Maven central also. So here you can see this is what they have given. So right now the, the recent version that is being released on January 31st is 7.11.1, okay? So you can copy this and you can come to the dependencies there, okay? So by default, when you create a project, uh, it will come this JNUT as a dependency. So let it be, uh, I'm just going to copy paste the dependencies that we have copied, okay? And I'm going to do the format, okay? This is a dependency that we have copy pasted, which is Maven. This is the one, okay? So after this, I need Kukumber JNUT also. So you can go to the same website here and just one step back here. I'm going to copy the Kukumber JNUT also. So make sure the both dependencies are in the same version, okay? So I'm just, just pasting this one also and you can delete this line, this is not good. Okay. So these are the two dependencies that we have copy pasted. One is Kukumber Java, okay? One is Kukumber Java and one is Kukumber JNUT. So now, as soon as you just copy paste, uh, add the dependencies, and here you can see the Maven dependencies are added here. Okay, you can see the relevant Cucumber dependencies here. Okay, so now we have to create the feature file, right? So it, it will always start with the feature file. So I'm going to delete this uh, default package types in the both SRC main and test Java. So here you can see this scope. Right, so this scope is only in the test folder. It means whatever the assertion or whatever test that you are going to write, so you have to maintain under the SRC test. Okay, so when you run this project as a Maven project, so the Maven will consider only the test that you have written under only SRC test slash Java. Okay, you can have your utility methods or page classes under the main class, or some of the common methods that you want to use that you can have it in the main Java SRC main. So rest of the assertion statement, or whatever you write now, that has to be under this SRC test. Okay, basically your test has to be placed under the SRC test Java. So I'm going to use this one, uh, SRC test. I don't want to use the main one. So I'm going here, I'm going to create one package. So this package, um, I'm going to name this one as uh, just the features. Okay, so again, some people will create like SRC test resources also you can create. Under the resources also you can have the feature file. Again, it is up to you. Okay, so here I'm going to create one feature file. Okay, for example, I'm going to have it as, okay, let me use the same uh, one that Cucumber is recommended. Okay, here it is. Okay, this is for the Selenium web driver. Okay, so this is a scenario they have given. I'm just going to copy paste this scenario. I'm just copying this. And uh, okay, I think this is a Google one. Yeah, I'm going to name this one as Google dot. So make sure you are typing the extension keyword of dot future. Okay. So just simply click on the finish. Okay. So now as soon as you, you add this feature file, it is asking that the I mean you will get this pop-up editors available in the marketplace. So what we have to do it here in the sense, since we are going to use the Kukumer plugin, so you have to add the Kukumer plugin from the Eclipse marketplace. Okay, this is one important thing that you have to do. So as soon as you go to the marketplace, so here you have to type as a cucumber. 
right once this get loaded we can type a keyword called cucumber here okay so after this just type cucumber keyword here and click on enter so you will get this cucumber eclipse plugin okay just install them So now in the left side, if you see this Google dot feature, right? So this is coming as a plain text format, right? So here you can see this is, this does not have any indicator of saying that this is a Cucumber feature file, right? So you can see it is plainly, it is coming as a Google dot feature. Okay, after installing this plugin, so you will come to know, I mean, you will you will see this Cucumber icon is coming over here. It, it, it get replaced this text document as a Cucumber icon. Okay, so let's wait for this installation to be complete. So here you can see in the bottom of the right side corner installing the software. Okay, it will after installation it will ask you for the restart. So just go for the restart. So after restart, I got the clips back. So now if you go to this particular folder where we created the feature file, now you can see the difference. Okay, so earlier it was like a plain text file. Now we can see it has become a, this green color indicator, which is stating the Cucumber feature file. Okay, so now just close this file. Again, I'm going to open this. Okay, so by default, you will see some text, I mean, uh, some feature like this. So something will be written default. So what we can do, we can select and delete everything. Okay, so now let me go back here and copy this. Okay, and let me go here and just paste that. Okay, so now you can see this is a scenario. I mean, it should start with a feature here. So when you type like a FE, so it will come automatically when you do the control space. Just click this one. So we are going to give some feature name like a Google search. Okay, simply save this. That's it. So this is what the feature file looks. You can see the given. Uh, I mean, uh, feature name. This is a feature name, and this is a scenario name. This is a go I mean, uh, given which is a keyword precondition. And when I'm doing the action, and this is what I'm going to expect them. Okay. So now we have to convert this one as a step definition. So now if you go here, you can see this what the step definition they have given. Okay, so this is a given and they have to launch the browser and you can see the actions that we are doing, then finally they are validated. Okay, so, I mean, uh, for creating the step definition, we will see in the next video, but this is what the basic all about. Okay, so you have to create one Maven project and make sure you are adding the dependencies uh, with the Cucumber Java and Cucumber JUnit. And you can create one folder called features in the, in the SRC test. Under this, you can create one feature file. Okay. So how to run this feature file and how to get the step definition and how to map them the step definition into the feature file, we'll see in the next video. Okay, that's all about this video. Thank you guys.